You know, I came from a place in my life when I showed up, nobody applauded. <laughs> when I used to come to work, nobody applauded when I showed up for work. And to be in a place in my life today where people want to hear what I have to say, it, it's really a testament to this business. But the gentleman just spoke. He didn't say hardly anything about himself. John Kavanaugh, I don't want to pronounce his name incorrectly, has massive success in the industry of network marketing. He's not a newcomer. He's not trying to figure this out. There's a guy who understands when he sees a real opportunity because he's seen some bad ones. You follow me? And to have him, it, he is to me a, a just a perfect example of the caliber of people that are being attracted to momentous. Some of you are very new, and, and when you're very new, if this is your first experience, you're actually at a disadvantage because you don't really know how good this is because you haven't had anything bad. You're new. You follow me? It's like a little kid. When you give a kid, uh, uh, you buy a kid a new toy, they'll play with the box because they, they, they have, doesn't have value to them. Am, am I making any sense? So I want you to really respect what he said and who he is and what he brings to the table because he's a great example of what we need to be looking at. Uh, I see people sometimes who are recruiting for this business, and because they don't have a real understanding of the value of it, sometimes we don't talk to the right people. I don't know if y'all hear that the right way. So I appreciate that. God has been good to me, and uh, for me to be in a position in my life right now where I can travel and I got friends around the world, it, it's just an absolute blessing. But let me just tell you what it means to you. I want to cover something here today that I hope you catch. And, and I, again, I go back and I appreciate what John said. But if all you know about me right now is what you heard him say, it can be misleading. Because he makes me sound like I am a brilliant businessman. And you might start to think, I cannot do that because I'm not as smart as that guy that he made me sound. Trust me. I promise you there's probably nobody in the room today that is as broke as I was when I saw this industry years ago. I was a paycheck to paycheck, what you call hand to mouth, hand to mouth. I had nothing. I was a single parent, uh, trying to raise my kids the best I could, and as a man, that was rather hard. I had two full-time jobs. When I saw this industry, not this company, but this industry years ago, I, I had, there was nobody in my family that had a business background. So I didn't have any role models. No one in my family had ever been in business. So I don't know if that hits you. You know, when I looked at this industry years ago, I looked at this to keep my brother out of it. <laughs> I had a baby brother that called me, and my baby brother went to a meeting years ago to a network marketing meeting, and he saw something that excited him. Like, I hope this excites you today. He was so impressed. I'm his older brother. And he called me, I had two jobs. And he called me up and got me out of bed late one night. He was so excited. And tried to explain to me some business he had seen. Now, I don't know how you came here, but to me, I, I was trying to look out at my little brother. And I told my brother, he tried to explain this, and I said, boy, don't be stupid. Don't let them people trick you. Those things don't work. I've heard about those things. I've never met anybody made money in a business like that. You've got a good job. Don't mess up your good job. Leave them stupid businesses alone. Now, in my heart, I was doing the best I could to help my little brother. I hadn't even looked at what he had seen. It just sounded too good to be true. So I agreed to go to the meeting for him, knowing I was not going to join. Because when he, on that phone that night, I made him tell me, I said, what's it going to cost to get started? This is years ago. And he told me. He didn't want to tell me. I said, well, if it's a business, it's got to be some money involved. And he told me, he said, well, the most you can spend, he said, is about $500. When he told me that, I knew I was not getting in. I didn't have $500. I had two good jobs. Hello? But I didn't have $500. So now I know I've got to go to that meeting to protect my little brother. So I go to that meeting just looking for a reason not to get in. I, I knew I was not going to join. The only reason I went, so I had to learn enough to tell my brother why he should not do it. Can y'all follow me? Now, so there's no one here today that can be any more skeptical or negative than I was. But that business that night so impressed me, 
I joined on the spot that night. My brother wasn't even in. I got in, and I, I don't want anybody to do what I did, but I'm going to show you something. I actually wrote a bad check to get in that company. <laughs> now, the check never bounced, but I wrote a check that night for $495, and I didn't have $20 in the bank. And then I hurried home, and I borrowed money from family and friends and put it in the bank before that check hit, and I was in business. Now, the reason I tell you that is because, again, see, see, I love what John said about me, but y'all don't know where I came from. That business that I almost missed turned into a millionaire in three years. Now, now I, I'm not saying that to impress you, but to impress upon you. Don't, listen, sometimes opportunity shows up, and you got to be make sure... If other people are excited about it, if you don't understand, but other people are excited, you better get in. Because <laughs> maybe they see something you don't. Am I making any sense? Yeah. Now, having said that, I'm going to try to go through this. I'm seeing some stuff for the first time, so y'all going to have to bear with me, because we're about to launch this thing, and I've only seen this presentation myself twice. <laughs> so it's been changed. Now, I think there's a video, so I don't know. If, are you going to run the video? Can I... I'm going to click it, okay? See, I'm not taking it, see? I'm going to click this and hope it works, okay? But watch this video. I like the way this video sounds. This sounds a little different. So let me see if y'all can get it. If I click it, okay? Every Good. day, cost-conscious consumers are introduced to new ideas and technologies that help us look smarter and make life easier. Consider this idea. All of these exciting innovations have one thing in common. Power. And even though cooktops, refrigerators, and even toasters are more efficient today than they were 35 years ago. The increased number of new, modern, home and personal electronics means that we use about the